Hi, Nava Barkakari. In this three minute video, I'm going to talk about public cloud versus private cloud. In particular, making a case for going to public cloud if at all possible. In previous videos, I talked about what is cloud computing in simple terms and uh, why you should consider it as an option for your organization and also some of the risks of cloud computing. Now, some of those risks, in particular security risks and loss of control of where data resides, these risks prompt agencies to consider and organizations to consider private cloud as an option. And that's a perfectly valid option, as I have said in previous videos, because you do get quite a bit of benefit, of, especially for reducing the number of physical machines, because the virtual ma virtualization gets you that, and which causes you to use less electricity, require less space, and less cooling, so, and less number of perhaps staff who need to administer these physical machines. So there's definitely benefit in going to private cloud. But unless you have an organization with uh, hundreds of thousands of employees with a big data center, you're not going to be able to get the economies of scale that the public cloud enjoys. Um, in fact, uh, for your private cloud, you'll have also some upfront investment that you have to make in converting the, your servers and all into you know, virtualizing them, implementing the software needed to make them into a cloud learning about the cloud operation itself. All these things would be upfront costs you have, to, um, you have to invest in before you realize any benefits if you're going for a private cloud you know, option. In fact, some even say that private cloud is not a cloud at all because cloud is supposed to have a property called elasticity, which means that uh, you are using as much as you need and you, when you don't need, you're not paying for it. Of course, that's very hard to do in a private cloud scenario. Uh, even if you had enough number of users uh, to have a big pool of virtual machines that can be created and you know not mm, destroyed as you need or don't need them, you still have to implement some sort of a mechanism whereby users are paying for it so that they truly uh, use as much computing as they need. So because of these um, drawbacks, um, the, it's definitely worth considering private public cloud. Sorry, public cloud has a primary option because public cloud is going to truly get you pay as you go computing. And if you are not able to do so because of some reasons such as very sensitive data, then you can always consider going to a community cloud that is good for your organization, for instance, or your type of organization. For instance, if you're a government organization, you can always consider a government community cloud, for instance. So these are some of the options you should think about and definitely consider public cloud if possible. Thank you.